A lamb is taking a meal in this movie, sitting with a family. Then a lady is giving it a bath with her like a human. Why was that family treating that lamb as if it is a human? Then it is seen that the herd of horses are wandering on the frosty mountains. Suddenly, something appears before them that, due to this, they run away after being scared of that thing. What was that thing? It also remains secret. But a strange sound is heard. It indicates that it may be an animal. Then a scene shifts to a farm, where a number of sheep are seen. And they are also confused all of a sudden. It was appearing, casting a glance at them as they are running after being escaped from something. And they move to another farm, leaving a farm. But a sheep had left behind. And it was looking in the worst condition. It was appearing at first sight as it is going to die. Now all sheep are staring outside, standing on the farm. And they cannot move outside. Because the storm had broken out outside. After this, that farm's owner is shown. They were a married couple. Their wife's name is Maria there. Later, it is seen that Maria and her husband are working, as per their daily routine. It is seen here that time has shifted here. Because there is meadow now, and the rising sun. Before this, there was falling snow. Its great proof is this, that the sheep had also been shaved. It indicates that much time has passed. The life of this married couple was so simple. Because they live in a house far from the city. And they have no one. They have their presence and the animals. There was a dog and a cat and their animals with sheep. Now their sheep are begetting, and Maria is helping them. Maria's husband is reading a newspaper, while taking a meal. It was stated there that time travel is possible. Maria says on it, they will soon come into action. It is noticed, that there is no intimacy between husband and wife. They don't spend their life like a married couple. They don't talk with each other too much. Laughing may be called rare. And they also sleep separately. The reason behind this is this, their daughter was being expected, who was given the name Ada. But that child died as it bore. And there created a distance between them from that moment. Their life was already poignant, and their coming happiness turned into sadness. They are marking those lambs which are new which was going to be held on each year. Maria says, this year has been the best year. Because lambs have been begotten more than the previous year. Their dog starts barking as they were talking. At that time, a sheep was begetting, so Maria helps it. And they were confused and upset, seeing that lamb which was come into existence now. Because that baby of sheep was different from other lambs. They don't leave it on the farm, marking is another matter. They take it to their house after lifting it. Now they were fostering it like their baby. It was a female lamb, so they name it Ada. The name that they had decided for their expected daughter. It refereed that their happiness has returned. If it is said in other words then it means that they snatch the happiness. Because Lan's biological mother was in dejection, because its baby had been snatched by them. But they sense nothing for this. They were sleeping in a room together. If it is said then their family had been completed. The next day, that Lan's mother was worried, when Maria goes to the farm. It was appearing, casting a glance on it as it is asking from Maria, where is my baby? Because it was an animal. And it could not speak, so they snatch their baby from it. She was walking, lifting the lamb as her kid instead of turning back. Because she was feeling very good about doing so. Seeing it, Maria's husband is very shocked. But he soon gets control over him. But who could clear its mother? The next day, that sheep was bleating, standing out of the house. And the lamb was also hearing it. At the same time, that married couple makes it run, coming there. Then that sheep continues bleating the whole day. They both have become as they are not hearing a single sound. One day, Maria goes in a tractor, and her husband is also engaged in his work. But he had forgotten to lock his house door while departing. After passing a long time, when they come back home, then they both begin to worry, not finding Ada at the house. And they begin to search for it but in vain. And they come at a great distance, while searching for it. Then they discover Ada with its biological mother, moving on the mountains. They take a sigh of relief, witnessing Ada. No one knows where that sheep carried that lamb, if they did not reach there. Now the question is aroused here, why are those actions taken for this lamb? Now a shocking fact is revealed here. In fact, Ada was not an ordinary lamb but a hybrid. It means half lamb and half human. This is the cause, that both husband and wife are feeling disturbed because of it. Because they are considering it a gift given by God. But it is a lamb for that sheep. That sheep was still coming after them. But Maria makes it run after shouting. They are showing their eye on Ada, because it is half human. 
in case it was fully a lamb, then they treated it like other lambs. After it, the time again shifts onward, where Ada has grown up and has started walking without any support. And they both love it as they had affection before. From that time, no one came here, nor did she take Ada outside. It was still a secret before others. But they leave a man there today. Now that man was moving to the farm. On the other side, Maria was having mysterious dreams, in which she is dreaming of a terrible male sheep. It was perhaps a threat for her to return Ada. When Maria wakes up then Ada's mother was still bleating for its baby, standing outside. Maria was totally disturbed here, so she moves to it, holding a gun. Maria does not take pity on it at all at this place. And she kills it, while firing her gun at a moment. After this, she drags it and buries it, taking it to a place. Maria was thinking here as she has become the real mother of that lamb, after killing its mother. It means, there is no one to disturb them. It was being thought of by her. But the hat man reaches here. And he witnesses all the actions, committed by Maria. It is known here, that this man's name is Peter. And he spends the whole night there. And it is revealed as the morning arrives, that man is actually a brother of Maria's husband. After this, they begin to take breakfast together. At the same time, Ada also reaches there. Seeing it, Peter is very astonished. He remains unable to understand what is going on here. It is seen here that Ada's one hand is like sheep, while the other is like a human. After this, Maria and Ada were taking baths as being fake mother and daughter. And Peter was observing them in a hidden way. He was shocked, seeing Ada but he was feeling shocked on this fact that, as for why are they behaving with him like this? She is considering Ada as it is really her daughter. Being irritated, he asks about it from his brother or Maria's husband. What is going on here? Then Maria's husband answers him in one phrase, happiness of God. And he also says, that you may stay with us until you wish. But keep away yourself from our life. Don't interfere in our life of any type. Peter agrees with him. He used to help both of them, and he was becoming a member of their family. But it was difficult for him to accept Ada. It is seen here, that he tries his best to communicate with Maria. But Maria ignores him. But he says to Maria, that Ada is an animal, not a human being. It teases Maria. Ada also feels shy while going before Peter. One day, he beats a drum before it. So Ada was intimating with him. When he is making it eat the grass then Maria's husband reaches there. Seeing it, he becomes aggressive with his brother. Because they used to treat Ada as their baby, they will surely feel ill if someone behaves with their baby like an animal. And it is also disliked by Peter. The next day, when they were sleeping, then Peter moves away, taking Ada from there. He had also a gun in his hand, witnessing it, it is cleared, that it is going to kill Ada. And he also points his gun at Ada. On the other side, Maria got worried, not finding Ada there. She discovers Ada with Peter, while searching the whole house. Ada was sleeping in the lap of Peter. Because Ada's innocence had also melted his heart. So Peter did not kill it. Now Peter had also become a part of their family. Because he had accepted Ada. Afterwards, the time is again shifted inward, where Maria carries Ada at the grave of their real daughter Ada. Peter had also become the uncle of Ada in a complete way. He takes Ada for fishing, getting it in the tractor. Maria and her husband are alone at the house. Their tractor is gone out of order when they were returning to the house. So they return to the house on foot, leaving the tractor there. They are watching TV, sitting together. Three of them were intoxicated at this moment. Ada goes out of the house after being teased for their entertainment. And their dog was staring at Ada out of the house. Seeing it, Ada is also feared. When a dog runs to it, then Ada moves to the shed quickly while running. It sees its face in the mirror which does not resemble its parents. It is noticed here that their gun was disappeared. And Maria's husband falls asleep, and Ada is also sleeping with him. I was still feeling scared. Getting a chance, Peter blackmails Maria. Saying it, I know this lamb's biological mother, which had been killed by you. I had witnessed. Because Maria did not want that Ada may know her truth. Their family will be shattered if it happens so. So she agrees to abide by Peter. But it was her trick in the matter of fact. After this, she locks Peter in one of the rooms. The next day, she takes Peter with her to get him on the bus before waking up her husband. Ada serves the breakfast to Maria's husband after it. After this, they both go away, to take the tractor back. Maria's husband is telling Ada, if you ever lost the way at any time, how can you return home? Because there are mountains. 
so you can easily return back. When Maria comes back home, she does not find both of them at home. Suddenly, she hears the sound of a gunshot, so she runs in that direction where the sound of the gunshot had heard. Actually, that gun bullet had shot on the neck of Maria's husband. Was that gun fired by Ada? Not at all. Because this gun has been fired by a big hybrid which is half human and half sheep. Ada was crying here, seeing the dying Maria's husband. But that big hybrid carries it with it. Maria's husband also stops it, but he finds no courage. It takes Ada away in front of him. Ada was also very dejected with it. After this, Maria has also reached her husband. Being injured badly, he was unable to tell her a single fact. At first sight, he loses his breaths. Now Maria will never know about it that, who had killed her husband? And where had Ada gone? She is doubting that Ada perhaps have gone after killing him. At this place, their all happiness went. And grief prevailed again. Let's tell you some basic facts here. In fact, that Ada was the baby of that big hybrid which had killed Maria's husband. And its clue was given at the start of the movie. When it was moving to the farm, while crossing the mountains. When a herd of horses had run away, witnessing it. When it reached the farm, then sheep were running as being scared from it. But it caught a sheep, of which condition was so worst, because it had committed something wrong with it. Then that sheep begot a hybrid baby which was kept as a god gift by that married couple. Its mother was interfering, so it was killed. That hybrid's baby was running, taking its baby so. Because it knew where that big hybrid will be present. Because this baby belonged to that big hybrid, so it was carrying it towards it. That big hybrid was habitual to visit here before. It neither found that baby nor its mother when it came down. It killed Maria's husband when other sheep told it about Maria and her husband. In this way, it freed its baby. Here the revenge was taken here as Maria grabs its baby after killing that its mother sheep, as that big hybrid grabbed its baby after killing Maria's husband. The moral lesson is got here that, always wait for your turn if you harm any creature. You may be helpless before anyone as it is helpless before you. Now there is a question, who was that big hybrid? From where had it come? Actually, it was a mystical creature, which used to live in the mountains. Because Maria and her husband had also discussed time travel. It might have arrived from the future. Here the movie comes to an end. Thank you for watching.